Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series. The exact model for this one is a 5502. The regulatory model is a P102F. Those information can be found on the bottom sticker at the bottom side of the laptop. You can find it in one corner. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove or upgrade the RAM for this laptop. And I made a short video how you can see your maximum RAM capacity for your, your laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description if you guys want to know what's your maximum RAM capacity that you can have. In this video, I'm going to cover it up and to show you guys uh, how you can get those RAMs and how you can replace them. We have upgraded this, uh, um, we have upgraded this laptop up to 16 gigs, so I don't see any reason to go over 16 gig because 16 gig is for most of the game even for productivity is just fine especially for the cpu yours can go up to 32 if you want to you can put uh, 32 gig if your supports but yeah all right by upgrading the ram you're not gonna modify anything on the windows or anything like that so pretty much it's really safe and i'm gonna go over the tools that i'll be using to do this service and and yeah, let's get it started. All right, tool number one, it's a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to grab the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. And from this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, once we have all these tools, then we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. There are two screws that will not come out, and those are the corner screws at the back, because they have a little C-lock on them, and the C-lock serves a purpose in, in there, and I'm gonna show you guys why. First, we're gonna remove all the screws, the one in the middle back, the one on the sides, the one on the front, and we're gonna keep them in one pile, and we're gonna leave these ones for the end, and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, start from the middle and go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content helps you guys to do your own upgrade, uh, repaste and cleaning, servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove all the screws in one pile, now, once we're gonna start unscrewing the screws right in here, you're gonna see the cover just pops open. Because the C-lock, what it does, it just holds the screw and the cover and pulls the cover to itself. So you can get a way, easy way to get to the panel. So look, as soon as I start rotating this, look what happens to the bottom case. The bottom case, it starts to, and then once I click, it just makes a few clicks and that's where I stop. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna start rotating and we're gonna see a separation on the cover. There we have it. Now, once we see this separation, that's where we're gonna, that's where it's gonna be our start point. So we're gonna start from the one corner, we're gonna put the guitar pick right in there and we're gonna start twisting backward and we're gonna hear a few clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. That's what we wanna do. See, this one already came out. You wanna work yourself all around in the front end, side to side, to the corner, to the back side, right there. And if you even need to go to the back end, you can work yourself here, and then the cover should come out pretty easy. So we wanna put it down and lift it up. And there's those C locks that I was talking about. Those are the ones right in here, right there. Okay, this is the bottom chassis, so we're gonna put this to one side. And right away we can see the big huge batteries, one, two, three, four cell batteries. And for the upgrading the RAM, you do not need absolutely to remove the battery. It's absolutely not necessary, but if you do want to be paranoid, you want to put your fingernails at the bottom of the jack right in here and pull the connector backward and the jack will get disconnected. To put it back in, make sure evenly slide it right inside the jack. All right, the, the RAMs are right over here. It says DIM1 and DIM2. 
you can lift up the cover and you can see the RAM. For this demonstration, I'm gonna rip this one up. Has a lot of adhesive, you don't need to, but this way it's easy for you guys to see. All right, as you can see, there's a RAM in here. There's a RAM in here, there's a four gig, and I believe four gig right in here. To remove the RAM, it's really easy. All you need to do is to put your fingers at the side of the trigger and pull them away from each other, and the RAM should come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. Next, all you need to do is to want to grab the RAM from the side, and you want to pull it backward, just like this, in 45 degree angle. You do not want to pull it upward towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to crack the RAM or the dim right in here. Pull it backward. And this is an 8 gig, so the, this one has been upgraded, so there's a 4 gig and 8 gigs, which is a dual channel. You can have any combination you want. These are DDR4 RAM. I'll leave the link if you want to put an 8 gig and an 8 gig for a higher capacity. And the compatible ones. Let's say once you have the new RAM and you want to plug in, you have to make sure the notch on the RAM, the notch is not centered, it's a little offset. So make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim right over there. So you want to bring it down with the notch matching. So if you try to put it the other way around, it simply won't go through. Doesn't matter the orientation of the RAM chip on this side or is on the other side, doesn't matter as long as the notch matches. So bring it down in 45 degree all the way towards the contact contact and push it towards the contact and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you should hear these triggers clicking just like that they open and they close automatically same thing in the other side pull them away pull out and there you have it push down in 45 degree and push it towards the motherboard and there you have it now let's say if you put the new ram in here you put an 8 gig and 8 gig and you boot up and after five to 10 seconds, if you don't see anything on the screen, don't panic, power off. You don't have to put the cover to power it on, so you can keep it in a different angle, just like this. And so you can remove the ramp, it's easy. So power on, power it off, place the new ramp on the DIM1, which is right in here, says DIM1 on this side. Then power it on and wait five seconds for the motherboard to detect the new ramp. And once you see the Dell logo, you want to power it off, then place the old RAM on the second DIMM, and then again power it on, wait 5 to 10 seconds. All right. Now we did this one, now let's put this sticker back on top. If you have disconnected the battery cable, plug it back in. Next is to grab the bottom chassis, bring it evenly over, and you want to squeeze the front end, make sure you hit those clicks, squeeze the sides. You don't squeeze here until you finish putting up the screw. So tighten up the screw so you can pull the cover to itself. Okay. And next, you just want to squeeze the corner, the back end. Just pinch them together. The front end, you might want to have a little more squeezy. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws on the bottom case. And that's it for the today's video. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to click that like and subscribe to support the channel. I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm going to power it on so you guys can see that it powers on. So people, for those people that keep saying that, no, you don't, why don't you turn it on? So let's go ahead and power it on. I think when you open, flip it open, it should turn on. So let's see if it turns on. And if it not, there you go. And there you have the Dell uh, logo. And we should be in the desktop within a few seconds. And there you have it.